Hey everyone, so this video is about the book Why A Students Work for C Students written by Robert Kiyosaki who is an investor, a business owner, and best-selling author. Now he's really known for his first book uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad and it's a best-selling book and that's kind of how he got started in in writing or you know creating these books or creating his education company and this book is directed more for parents if you've read his other stuff rich dad poor dad cash flow quadrant and I think he's got some other ones but basically there there is some overlap uh, between or amongst the books but this book in particular again it does have some overlap but this book in particular is directed to parents and the importance of teaching their kids about financial uh, literacy or financial education. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the main thing that he's kind of talked about throughout all of his books. So the important lessons of how to achieve financial freedom. And uh, so yeah, the very first thing that he talks about, well, maybe not he talks about, but one of the most important things is called the cash flow quadrant. And basically the cash flow quadrant talks about how there's four different ways or four different income sources. You have the E, S, B, and I. So the four income sources come from uh, being an employee, be, being self-employed, a business owner, and in an investor. So uh, income sources from a job, basically, at being an employee, uh, income sources from being self-employed, basically you have your own business, but uh, you, you always have to be there. Now a business, on the other hand, is you, you have a business or you run a business, but you don't necessarily need to be there. You have other people managing it for you, so that's what uh, the B and the S or the differences between the B and the S is. And then the I is you're an investor. So you basically gave money to a company to do whatever and make you money. And basically what he's saying is that you don't want to be on this side if you, or rather to become financially free. It's very difficult to be financially free on this side compared to this side. And there's many reasons for that is because with these, with being an E and S, you always have to be there. So you're basically trading your time for money. Whereas if you're on this side, you're always making money regardless. And so that's why he was saying you want to be on the B, I side as opposed to the E and S. And also interesting that, he, you know, another point to that is that the more work you do, the heavier you get taxed. So basically he was saying that the employees get taxed uh, higher than the people, than the business owners or investors. And it makes sense. So uh, for myself, I'm an investor I, and I know that uh, I get taxed less on my investment income than I do on my employment income. So yeah, that's, that was very, it's a very good point. So that's also why uh, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, the rich, no, understand that taxes uh, play a factor into it and they get to keep more at the end of the day compared to the people on this side. So that's one of the important things that he talks about which is the cash flow quadrant. The second thing that he talks about is an income statement. So an income statement basically is all of your income minus your expenses and that's how much you're keeping. So you're writing down all of the money coming into you and you're writing out all of the expenses that or the cash that's leaving you so maybe some expenses would include groceries transportation electricity uh, rent so those are expenses uh, some income would be money from your job perhaps some investments um, maybe you are self-employed or you're you have like some sort of side business So that's basically what an income statement is and so he's saying that's kind of important I'm going to show you how this all pieces together in a second, but yeah This the third thing is called a balance sheet and this basically tells you what your net worth is at any given time or how much you are worth and so basically you are worth what you have 
which are called assets. And when he says assets, he means things that actually produce income. So he, in the book, he talks about how some people think that their house is an asset. Well, according to Robert Kiyosaki, it's not an asset because there is no cash inflow. So there is no cash coming in, but rather it's a liability because cash is going out. And a liability means cash going out or leaving your presence. So assets are things that you own that bring money in. So anything that you own that brings money or can give you money uh, is technically an asset, right? Uh, according to him, and a liability is a cash outflow. Uh, this is a little bit different from the accounting sense of assets and liabilities. So that's uh, his take on it. So Robert Kiyosaki is saying that uh, an asset is it produces income, liability, it, it you know, it's, it's something where it's a cash outflow. For accounting terms, it's not exactly like that, but that's Robert's take on it. So that's the balance sheet. And then the last thing that he talks about is how to become financially free. So what he's saying is that uh, looking at your income statement and your balance sheet, just as I've shown before, what he's saying is that you want to take your income, the money that you come in, and you want to purchase assets that produce income. So you're basically feeding this financial freedom cycle. So you make money and then you put it into these assets or you invest it. And then once you invest it, you want some sort of cash inflow from them. And so then that feeds your income. And then what you want to do is you want to continually reinvest and reinvest until your income exceeds your expenses. So basically as this gets bigger, so does this. So it's basically this part feeding this, but you have to obviously start from your income. And basically what he's saying is that you gotta reduce your expenses, up your income, and and forget about the liabilities, try to increase your assets. And so as your income and your assets get bigger, your expenses and your liabilities will go down. And so that's basically how you become financially free. It's all through passive income. Uh, there's really nothing passive, but in the sense that you, you obviously have to put a lot of work in the beginning and, and become an investor, just as I've shown in the very first uh, picture of the cash flow quadrants, right? You want to be on this side, you want to be an investor as opposed to being an employee or a, being self-employed. And so basically, that's how you become financially free. Increase your income and increase your income producing assets and you will be financially free. All right, well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in the book, there's a link down below. Uh, yeah, please subscribe if you want further notifications of these sorts of videos or my videos. And yeah, also I check out my website at www.bookstakeaway.com for videos that I've talked about or videos on books that I've reviewed. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.